Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me. And today I'm going to share with you how I created this autumnal themed card. I'm using one of the fabulous new stamps from Lavinia. This is Bumble Lodge and it, you'll have seen me use it a few times because it is a firm favourite of mine. I've got a stencil in the background. I've got elegance. I've got a little script stamp. I love this script stamp, such a beautiful flowing script and the words are gorgeous. It's see a fairy. Then I'm using mini stars in the background. I'm using one of the stamps from the Three Blessings set and then I've coloured it with a variety of pencil crayons. And then I've blended round the edges with Distress Oxides and rounded the corners. So if you're ready, we'll get started. So I've got an A6 card here. The colours that I'm going to be using is Versafine Clear Nocturne for my stamping, Acorn, which I've used for the stars. I've got Frayed Burlap and Mustard Seed for my blending around the edges. As I said, the stencil that I'm going to be using is Elegance. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stamp up our gorgeous little Bumble Lodge with Nocturne. And we're just going to pop this stamp right in the center of the card. As I said, it's an A6 card, which is A5 folded in half. So we're not even going to need to mount this one. And I put a piece of copy paper into the center of that card. Now I'm going to take away my stamping mat and we're just going to work like this. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to colour it up. I love to use pencil crayons. These are the Derwent Inktense pencils that I'm using. And I've just got an assortment of browns, yellows, oranges, autumnal colours. I wasn't too fussy about those that I selected because you'll see as I colour it, you're just going to have fun. I'm going to put this to music, otherwise you'll be bored watching me and I'll fast forward it. But what I want to show you is that underneath these gorgeous little swirls, I'm putting a bit of a darker shading. Can you see that? Because when you have something, it creates a shadow. So if I hold my hand in front of my other hand, you will see there's a shadow cast on the bottom hand. So here, something's over it so there's a shadow cast underneath where these little ropes are flowing over the Bumble Lodge. So that's the only thing to think about. The rest, oh my goodness, just have fun. Just yellows, lighter colours here and then a bit of darker colours um, here and there. You'll see. I'm going to start with my yellow and these pencils just flow really beautifully and easily on the page. And Tracy's done a great job of the detail on this stamps. So you really don't have to be too careful. Or colour in the line specifically. So you can see what I'm doing is there isn't a specific start and end. I'm just colouring it leaving some white space because that's what's going to give us the light that's shining in on our cottage. And I'm first going around with this lighter colour and then I'll add the darker colours.
so there we have it and you can see what I did was as I went backwards and forwards with my coloured pencils if I thought something was going too dark I'd pick up a bit of the little orange or the yellow to lighten it and I just went intermittently through the bricks and through the cobbles at the bottom so don't worry if you go outside the lines these little ribs across the top we are going to color with a white pen so get to a point when you're happy with it you can see i wasn't overthinking that i was just doing it as gently enjoy put some music on have fun with it so now i'm going to take my elegant stencil and i'm going to place that over the top of my whole design take my brush and my mustard seed and I'm just going to get some texture around the edge of the card. Now I'm going to leave a white, some white space around our little cottage that's going to make it stand out even more and give it a bit of a glow. So two seconds, don't overthink this. Okay, so you've just got some texture in the background. Then I'm going to take my script stamp. Here it is, Believe in the Magic. This is called See a Fairy. And I'm going to ink it up with Acorn Versafine Clay. And I'm going to stamp it off so that we've got a second generation there. That's about right, third generation. So you can see what I mean about this lovely, beautiful script. And I'm just going to see if I can get the first line of this little poem. It goes, believe in the magic as fairies do. And I'm going to see if I can get that just at the bottom. Believe in the magic. Gorgeous. Just put a bit of a gap there. So you can see over stamping, not being too careful, just gives us a bit of texture in that background. Now I'm going to take frayed burlap with my smoothie. I'm just going to take another piece of card to pop over the top. First of all, I'm going to take my, yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to, oh, that's very dark, too dark. There we go. So lightly at first. So we're going to turn this from a quite a yellowish background to a bit more of a brownie background there but with the yellow still peeping through to lighten it so you can see when I'm blending I'll start right on the edge because as I did in my original we've gone round the edge with a darker color we've got the lighter frayed burlap in coming in towards the center but we've got this dark line around the edge so if something like this did happen where you've got a bit of a dark there, don't worry, because as we go along with the second layer, all will be forgiven. And that's why you start on the edge. And I'm keeping this moving circular motion so that I don't land up with any scratch marks and it all blends in softly.
Naturally, if you wanted to take this up to an orange, something like spiced marmalade would do a great job. There we go. So, voila, it's looking good. I'm now just going to take my smoothie and I'm just going to go around the edge to frame it because, as you know, creating a frame around our work is often a really good way of emphasising the whole picture. Now, it's looking good. I'm just going to take my corner round a punch, which I probably normally have done before now. But there we go. That just gives it a bit of extra something around there. And then I'm going to take two more things. I'm going to take my mini stars. Oh my goodness. It has to be something that I use quite regularly, this. No, I'm not going to take Nocturne. I'm going to take Acorn and I'm going to ink up my mini stars. And I'm just going to create a bit of fun and magic around Bumble Lodge. Then I'm going to take happiness and again I'm going to ink that up in acorn and I'm just going to pop it along the bottom here. It just sort of anchors it to the bottom of the card. And then last but by no means least I'm going to take my white Uniball Signa pen and I'm going to Go around these little bands, which just make them pop. And there you have it. And there you have it. A gorgeous little quick card. I'd love to see what you make. I have a YouTube channel, so if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to see you there. But I'm with Lavinia every Monday, and I hope you join me again. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.